Today, I will take you to outer space, and the best way to do it is to visit Charger Academy for Astronomy, Space Science and Technology. I can't wait! Let's begin now! Follow me! The solar system consists of eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet Pluto. Mercury is the closest planet to our Sun. Mercury is made out from solid metal, and light does not exist there. Mercury also has oceans, but those oceans are not filled with water, instead of melted metal. Because of the boiling hot sun's heat, the metal is beginning to melt. However, in the night side of Mercury, it is icy cold and people have even found ice inside the craters. This planet up there is Venus. Venus is known as Earth's evil twin. The reason is because Venus is almost the same size as Earth, therefore it's its twin. However, Venus has something as a greenhouse effect. A greenhouse is basically like a glass house. How it works is that the sun's heat comes inside the house, but it cannot go out. So what happens there? The heat of the sun comes inside the planet's atmosphere, but it cannot go out. Therefore, the planet is scorching hot. Also, the pressure in Venus is 30 times as much as Earth's. This is our favorite planet, and a planet that we can call home. This is Earth. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life or at least we believe that it is. Earth is where we live. Earth has oxygen and water, which is the mandatory features for life. This is Mars. Mars is the closest planet to Earth and the second smallest planet in our solar system. Did you know that UAE has sent a satellite to Mars and it took seven months to reach it? It will be staying in Mars orbit and reporting any news that happens on that mysterious planet. This is Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It is the fifth planet away from the sun. Jupiter has these yellow spots on the planet. Scientists have then discovered that those uh, spots are actually cyclones. And the largest cyclone is actually the same size as Earth. Can you believe that? This is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn's massive rings are made from rock, ice and space dust. Did you know that when the dinosaurs existed, Saturn did not have its rings? It's so fascinating, right? This is Neptune. Neptune is the furthest planet away from the sun. It is bitterly cold. Therefore, scientists believe no life exists there. Neptune is made purely from gas and liquid. Neptune's surface gravity is almost Earth-like. Also, Neptune has the strongest winds in the whole of the solar system. This is Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is larger than an asteroid, but smaller than a normal planet. Pluto was first discovered by the microgravity waves that scientists have found in the outer space. However, they, were not, they didn't have concrete evidence that another planet is in the sun's orbit. But soon, Pluto was discovered. Hello, may you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Amr Al-Ansari. I am a scientific guide here. Thank you. Can you please tell us what is your favorite exhibition here? Uh, we have lots of uh, uh, interesting exhibits actually here. We have uh, an exhibit that can tell you uh, how the, or how can we calculate the speed of light? Wow. Yes, because the speed of light, you know, 300,000 kilometers per second. So how can we calculate that? So we have an exhibit here that can uh, tell you or can teach you how to uh, calculate it. We have also another exhibit, which is my favorite exhibit. It's the lunar rover. In Apollo missions, uh, like uh, Apollo uh, uh, 15, 16, and 17, they took with them a rover. It's like a vehicle because they wanted to, to cross or to walk on the moon for a, a long distance. They took it for them. Currently, they, are, they have three of uh, rovers there, so we have one here, but of course not, not the same weight. The origin one very light, but the one that we have just a bit. Have you ever met an, a real-life astronaut and what do they think about space? Okay, 
So uh, actually, it was uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, time to meet one of them because it was my dream to be an astronaut. Now I am an astronomer and it's a big difference between them because here as astronomer, we study stars from Earth. But astronauts, they travel to the outer space and study stars from the outer space. So I met here uh, Hazza Al-Mansouri and he is uh, uh, an astronaut from UAE, the first Emirati uh, astronaut. I met him after his successful uh, uh, mission to the ISS. He went there for two weeks. I, of course, I asked him many questions, but I told him, how was your, you know, your feelings when you were in the outer space, in the ISS, watching the, the, the Earth from there? And uh, what about your thoughts at that time? He told me once I was, <clears throat> when I, I was there, actually, I, I looked at the Earth, I didn't see any borders. I didn't see any, uh, you know, between countries, there is no, no borders. We as astronauts uh, from the outer space, we, have, we, we are brothers and sisters. We cooperate together for the sake of this planet. And I think for the next generation, they will uh, dive into the depth of the universe. Maybe now we can travel only to the ISS, but maybe the next generation will travel to Mars, for example. And it's going to be like a, a dream that we need to do or we need to, to yes. Thank you very much for your You're answers. Welcome. Thanks so much. This is a truly extraordinary place to learn about our unique solar system and space works and also to have so much fun. I totally suggest to come here as a family to enjoy.